Hi! In this video, we are going to draw a dog inspired by the book Anything is Possible. If you haven't already, please give this video a like and subscribe. There's lots of different ways you can draw a dog. I normally like to start with the nose, so I'm going to draw a nose first. And just draw a little like oval like this and then from there I like to draw a, a line going down like this and then make it kind of smile and then I don't know about you but personally I think that dogs that have their like tongue sticking out like this look extra cute so I'm gonna have its tongue sticking out like that. The next step is to draw eyes. You can do little dots as eyes, or you can do big circles or ovals. It doesn't really matter. For me, I'm gonna draw two circles. Like this, and another one like this. Then I like to draw just a little tiny line between the eyes and the nose, kind of give it a little bit of depth like that. After that, I like to think, where will the ears be? And I'm gonna kind of scribble the ears in because I want my dog to look fluffy. So I'm gonna do it like this, and then another scribble like that. And then I wanna think, how big do I want its face? I think I want the face like this, so I'm just going to kind of scribble it in. I'm gonna go like this, I'll show you. <laughs> and then all it needs is the top of its head. So I'm gonna start like that, and then like that. And that's the doggy head. Next is the doggy body. So I'm gonna think, where do I want the doggy's body to end? And I think right about here. So I'm gonna put a little dot right there. I'm gonna draw from its neck to its bottom like this. And then another dot right here because that's about how big I want the doggy body to be. So, and then I'm gonna draw from here to here and that'll be the doggy body, so. So we got the doggy head and the doggy body. Next we need some legs and some paws. So, that's one leg, two legs, and then you just draw like a tiny smaller leg behind it and that will give it its four legs. So like that and like that. And then I like to give it doggy feet, so. Doop, doop. All right, what's it missing? It's missing a tail. So that's the doggy tail. Now our doggy outline is pretty much done, but I think it's missing some expression in its eyes. I would like the doggy to be looking that way. So I'm gonna do this. I think the nose should be colored in. I'm gonna color the nose in. And what do you think? Should the tongue be a certain color? I think a nice pink or red tongue would look nice on the doggy. I think pink. Let's try pink. All right. Now, what color do you want your doggy to be? Your doggy could be any color. It could be brown or you could make it purple. You could make it a rainbow doggy if you wanted. It really doesn't matter. I think that my doggy is going to be, hmm. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna just close my eyes. It's gonna be yellow. <laughs> All right, so I color the doggy in yellow. Reminds me of my doggy. I have a dog named Bubbles and she is fluffy like this and she is kind of a nice bright yellowy color. You can see it. You can see what she looks like in the video. Anything is possible to read aloud. She helped me read with that one. So if you want to see what my doggy looks like, she's in that video. I'm just going to color this in. You know, one thing I really love about art is that it doesn't have to look like anybody else's art. And there are no mistakes. Art is just art. It's just fun. Okay, so next I think I'm going to add a little bit of brown just to kind of give it some shading. So I think the back legs are gonna be just a little bit more brown. You know, 
like that, and then maybe a little bit of brown at the edge of the ears. Maybe just a little bit right there. And I forgot to color in its feet. That's so silly. What do you think? Should I have brown feet? I think that might be kind of cute. And then let's just draw a line kind of underneath it so that it's not floating in space like this. Yeah. And that's how to draw a fun dog, see? Inspired by the book, anything is possible. If you want to know more about this book, there will be links on where to find this book and the link to the read aloud if you want to watch the read aloud. Thanks for watching. Bye!